Every year, at the exact same time, in the exact same place, without the help of a human hand, these wildflowers called snow on the prairie grow in a field near our neighbourhood. They can be seen blanketing grasslands for miles around and appear to signal that the end of summer is near. These snow on the prairie are in the same family as poinsettias. And just like poinsettias, their most eye-catching feature are their leaves especially from a distance, but if you look closer, you notice the small flowers in the center and it seems no two are exactly alike. I focused at 400 millimeters on some flowers that stood up higher than others, moved them off center in the frame and waited for the wind to slow down before taking the photo. I went back into my archives and was surprised to see that the last time I took photos of these annual native flowers was six years ago. I often enjoy going back to read the descriptions I wrote, but also to compare the way I used to see my photography subjects years ago to the way I see now. I've noticed I now have a more deliberate attempt at focusing on my compositions these days. These older photos also remind me that I used to take a lot more photos with my phone and I miss doing that. Some things haven't changed. For example, I'm always on the lookout for something unusual, something that stands out, like this grasshopper with its copper colouring against the paler jade green colours of the flowers. I like this one. It captured the mood and the light and the colours of these beauties. but I like it even more in a square frame as the composition feels more balanced. I almost always use the largest aperture. For this lens at 400 millimeters, that's f5.6. But before I put my camera away, I wanted to try f8. The wind was picking up a bit, so I needed to increase my shutter speed. But here I made a different creative decision. Instead of relying on my light meter to give me a correct exposure according to the camera, I used ISO 400, which actually underexposed the image by one and a half stops for a slightly darker mood. And then in the edit, I lightened the center where the little flowers are and I darkened all around the edges of the frame even more. It's fascinating to look at these little center flowers close up with a macro lens. And since my telephoto lens was on my big camera, I used my phone to capture all of these. Thank you. 
The sun is coming up now, the clouds are breaking up and the sky is changing colour. For all time's sake I'm going to take one more photo with my phone and then I'll go back home. Thanks for watching, see you next time.